When you're on the road and you're driving, sometimes you might not be able to stop. You have a destination that you want to make. So you're going to get hungry. One great option is to have a shaker cup with you. Um, what I like to do when I, I'm on the road driving is I have my shaker cup with me. If I know it's going to be a long trip, I'll take Ziploc, little Ziploc baggies and put individual scoops in each bag. So I know one bag is a serving. Then I'll s squeeze the air out and stuff them all in here so I have them. Especially if I'm on an airplane too. Sometimes airplane food's not great at all. So if I'm dieting for a show, I'll have my, my shaker cup. I just take out one of my Ziploc baggies, dump it in here. I shake it up and I drink it and I have my meal. And it'll last me a couple of hours. So this is a great alternative um, when you're on the road versus going through a drive through to grab a Big Mac where this will fuel your body and actually maybe help you burn some calories and maybe lose some weight versus some of the other alternatives that are out there. One protein powder that I love a lot. There are many good ones out there and we'll list some other brands on the website, but you can purchase this at the vitamin shop. This is Beverly International's UMP. It's a little bit of a blend of diff some different proteins, but the sugar, there's no sugar in it. It's very low. It's mostly protein, very little carb. So you're getting more fuel, not much carb and no fat. Um, so this is also very easy to digest. No GI distress, no gas, no bloating from this protein powder. I have a few things that I like to put in my shake. Um, and most importantly is fiber powder. Again, when you're sitting sedentary on a plane, in a car, whatever you're doing, this will help keep everything moving nice and uh, easily. So protein powder with some um, fiber powder in it will help keep your digestive system happy. A um, few other little additives I like to put in too are some powdered peanut butter. Very, very low fat, low calories. Just shake it right in your cup or shake it right in the Ziploc baggie. You can put all your ingredients in the baggie and then it's all ready to go when you're ready. And a little, add a little cinnamon in there too for some flavor. One other important thing I think for when you're on the road also you can put in the baggie is some glutamine. Glutamine is, a, is a, an amino acid. It helps with gut um, stability and it also helps with your keeping your immune system strong. So when you're on the road and you're doing lots of different things, maybe you're tired, you might feel run down, maybe you come across some other people that may be coughing or sneezing while you're traveling, this will definitely help keep your immune system strong and keep your, your gut feeling happy. So those are just, that's just one easy way while you're traveling to get some healthy food in you to keep going. Um, one more little tidbit of that that I like to do if you're feeling a little extra hungry and you want to make a little more, get a little more bang out of your protein, you could throw a, a, qu a quarter cup of um, quick oats in the Ziploc baggie. That way the oats will absorb the water. It gets a little thick, but if you add enough water and shake it up, it'll stick with you a little bit longer than just protein powder. So those are some little ideas for on the road uh, to keep you healthy while you're driving.